Hi, this is Dr. Mark Hyman. Welcome to my kitchen and welcome to my pantry. I want to show you a journey through my pantry that will give you some ideas about what you might put in your pantry. I always have it well stocked so I never end up being in a food emergency, which means I'm going to go after junk. So if I have good things in here, I can easily make delicious meals, I can have great snacks. I don't have to worry about having something to eat when I'm hungry. So uh, I always have nuts and I have a lot of nuts. I'm a big nut fan. I have almonds, which are delicious organic almonds, whole almonds. I have pecans, I have walnuts, I have pistachios, I love nuts. Every kind of nut I have. I'm kind of a nut myself. I have pumpkin seeds, a wonderful source of zinc. Pine nuts, a little bit of pine nuts, great on, on salads. Brazil nuts. And I also have cocoa nuts, which are really cocoa beans. And these are actually what they make chocolate out of. And I put them in a shake so you can make desserts out of them. Smoothies, you can put them in avocado, chocolate bean and a cocoa bean and you put a little a sweetener in it's really yummy for dessert. Uh, and down below I have things like almond meal when I, I make uh, different kinds of baked goods out of almond meal. It's a great substitute for flour. I have some uh, blue corn chips which occasionally I have and I use some salsa. It's a great snack. I have my red quinoa. I just have a, a, like a lot of really yummy things in here. Now I want to take you to my next drawer which is where I have more things. Uh, I always have unsweetened almond milk or uh, unsweetened hemp milk. I have cans of coconut milk which are great in making Thai food and sauces. I have chicken broth to make uh, soups or other things that I like to make. I have my, my butters. I have cashew butter, peanut butter, almond butter, macadamia nut butter, uh, coconut butter. I have coconut butter back here. Oh actually here it is. My coconut butter. And these are all really essential ingredients for me because they're good quality fats, they're a good source of protein, they're great snacks, they're easy to make. For uh, when I get those sweet cravings, which I do sometimes, I'll have dates, uh, organic dates or figs, which I have back here. And I have my can section here, which are all organic beans, BPA free cans, no toxins, we don't want any toxins. They're wonderful to have around because they're easy. They're a little more expensive than making the beans yourself, which I do. But when I'm in a hurry, sometimes I like to just add them to soups or make sauces uh, and put them on the beans like garbanzo beans, a little olive oil, a little salt and pepper, uh, lemon juice, a delicious, delicious uh, snack to have. Uh, black beans are great, navy beans. And then of course I have my wild sardines. I love to have wild sardines. I have kippers, herring, sardines. Always have these great snack, open it up. Great source of protein, omega-3 fats, choline. If you have the ones with the bones, you get extra calcium. Sardines are my favorite food. Uh, and you can have those with all kinds of different things. And I have my little uh, Thai section here. I've got green curry paste and red chili paste. Uh, these are things that I use to make sauces out of. I take coconut milk, I take this curry paste, I put vegetables, chicken, and in really 15 minutes I have a delicious meal. Uh, I always have a little extra um, tomatoes. I have canned tomatoes here so I can make soups or chilies. Always have them available. Different condiments and sauces I like to have around like, like spicy Thai chili sauce. Uh, I have clam juice. I have red peppers, roasted red peppers. You can make great uh, pasta out of them, pasta sauce. You can make wonderful, delicious uh, salad fixings with this. It's really great. Uh, so these are my favorite, favorite snacks. Uh, and then I have my last section here, which are my grains and beans and some other sort of snacks. So I have here a lot of grains and beans. These are split peas and Bhutanese red rice, a great source of minerals and antioxidants, very low glycemic. My forbidden black rice. Again, these are gluten-free grains, very delicious. Black rice is also called the emperor's rice. It's full of antioxidants. It's a low glycemic load, so it doesn't raise your blood sugar a lot. And of course, the short grain brown rice. And then I have, I have azuki beans and, and uh, mung beans and red lentils and buckwheat. Really a, a variety of different grains I like to cook with and beans that are, are delicious and make great soups and, and, and side dishes. And then I have my kind of pasta drawer, which is kind of like a cheating pasta drawer because it's good kinds of pasta. For example, this is black rice, black rice uh, pasta, which you can have a little bit with Chinese food. I have black bean noodles. These are made from black beans and it tastes like pasta, but they're actually bean noodles. They're gluten-free and they're delicious. I have soba noodles, which are made from buckwheat, 100% organic wheat-free uh, soba noodles, which are great with little sauces on them. And I use these as in different dishes. And I also have sea vegetables, which are kind of weird, but they're really good. They're great in soups. You can put them in salads, arame and wakame and kombu. And I have all these in here. And then I have a little popcorn down here uh, for snacks. And there's a little popcorn with some salt and olive oil is good. I have uh, bonito flakes, which is uh, like a tuna, but it's used to, for spices and Asian dishes. And I have other kinds of seaweed like uh, wakame and arame. 
So now you've seen what's in my pantry and I hope I've given you some ideas about what you might want to have in your pantry. And I encourage you to think about it, to plan a little bit, and to stock it up with great foods and simple snacks and things that are always available so you never get into trouble. You can always have great fresh food that you can make for yourself or your family. So in addition to my pantry, I have my condiment section, which is fabulous to have right by the stove. And I have this designed to be right by my stove in my kitchen. And I have just a very few essential ingredients I have in here and I have a lot of backup because I never like to run out. So I have lots of different kinds of olive oil. I've got extra virgin olive oil, organic olive oil. I've got toasted sesame oil. I've got hot and spicy sesame oil, great for making Asian food. I've got balsamic vinegar. I have a regular one I use for salads and I have this very special one that's very expensive, it comes from Italy, that I used to put on a, a special extra little dressing for really special dishes that I make. And I have rice vinegar, I have tamari, which is a fabulous uh, t soy sauce kind of a thing that doesn't have any gluten in it. I use mirin, which is one of my favorite secret ingredients. Mirin is essentially rice wine from Japan, but it's sweet and it gives vegetables a nice little flavor if you just put it in at the end of a stir fry. I have black sesame seeds. I love these black sesame seeds because I sprinkle them in my eggs. I put them and toast them and put them in dishes and they're just really good to have around. And of course I have different kinds of salts. I have Portuguese salt, Celtic salt, I have uh, sea salts and I have uh, a whole bunch of different condiments I use when I'm making uh, different dishes. And I have little extracts when I'm baking like vanilla and almond extract and baking powder. Just basic raw ingredients that I use to kind of concoct my magical dishes. And I've also got little spices. I have secret spices that I buy sometimes. Little ones I see. These are all organic fresh spices that have incredible dishes. Things like there's an Indian spice combination. This is a Chinese dragon rub spice combination. And they're great. And I have back up black pepper seeds and other things up here. So this is my condiment section. I use it when I cook. I always have it at hand and I, I can splash all these things in different dishes and it's always there and it's easy to have and I encourage you to stock up and have these things always in your kitchen and your pantry. All right, now I want to show you one last thing which is my spice straw. So we've gone through my pantry, we've gone through my condiments which are wonderful to have by the stove, but I also love spices. I love to collect spices from all over the world and use them in different kinds of ethnic dishes that I love to cook. So it's great to have them all around all the time. So the first thing you want to do is just get a nice place you can store them. I've, I had this specially designed drawer. Check it out. It's pretty good. I've got spices from all over the world I've collected. And I have some really simple ones that I want to tell you about. I can't go through all of them, but I want to go through some really essential ones. These are very powerful medicinal compounds. All spices have, have healing properties and they also make food taste fantastic. And in fact, wars have been started over spices, but they are really the spice uh, that you can use in, in every kind of cooking that makes it really, really come alive and taste great. So turmeric is one of my favorites. It's a powerful anti-inflammatory, one of the most powerful, and it's used to make curries. I put it in rice. Also, I like cumin seed. Cumin seed is great for making Mexican dishes, Asian dishes. I like seeds. I sometimes grind them. I have a coffee grinder, a mortar and pestle, and I use those. I have, I have chilies. I love chilies. You can throw chilies in different sauces. It's wonderful to have hot, spicy red chilies around all the time. And I have uh, different kinds of seasoning like paprika, which is good to make different chicken dishes. Uh, put it in, it also really is a hot, spicy paprika that I put in my chilies. Very, very good. Uh, and I also have really interesting things like, like these delicious kinds of spices that I collected in India when I went there for masalas and for curries. Uh, and, and I have these really wonderful uh, mixed spices. Sometimes I'll buy special mixes of spices. This is uh, from North Africa. This is uh, from India. And I, I put these on chicken or fish. I roll them in them and I can grill them in the pan and they just taste delicious and it gives it that extra sort of unusual spicy flavor that doesn't take any extra time to make. Uh, so these are some of the things I have. Also, I've also got uh, um, ancho chilies, which I love. You can put these in different spicy sauces. I love this ancho chili in my, in my chilies, and they're, they're really fantastic. So uh, I've got Asian spices. I've got all kinds of different things in here, and uh, more, more different seeds, pepper. I've always got ground pepper everywhere. And this is just a spice drawer I keep all the time in my house. It stays for a long time. You keep the jars sealed tightly in a drawer away from the light and you've got this wonderful uh, repertoire of beautiful spices to use in your cooking and enjoy your meals and make them taste great and create more healing, healing properties in your food. So I encourage you to put together your kitchen in a thoughtful way. Think about what you need in your fridge, in your pantry, in your condiment area, and in your spice drawer. And putting those all together, you always have fantastic meals that you can make in a moment's notice that don't take a lot of time, that don't cost a lot, and you just can eat well and live well. So I hope you can do that for yourself.